Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday, and today I'm gonna show you five ways to pack the Jujube Be Packed. This is a brand new bag from Jujube. It's only been in two releases, and it's really a fantastic bag, but a lot of people are kind of unsure how to pack it. It's a weird size. It's kind of like right in between a Be Right Back and a Mini Bee. So I thought today I would show you some examples of how you might consider packing this up um, if you bought it and are still having a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna start by showing you how to pack this up for just one toddler. Then I'm gonna show you how to pack it up for one infant. Then I will show you how I think you might be able to pack this if you have two little ones with you. I will give you the caveat that I think it's very, very hard to pack this for two little ones, but I am gonna try. Then I'm gonna show uh, how to pack this as like an entertainment bag for a toddler um, on an airplane, so if you're using this as a carry-on bag. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to pack this up as a work or productivity bag. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started with the first way. So really quickly, let me kind of go over what I like and don't like about this bag. I do not like this mommy pocket at all. Um, I just find that it does not pack up very well for my own needs. I like having a mommy pocket that gives me plenty of room to pack the things that I want to have with me and this mommy pocket just doesn't do that. So basically the only thing that I pack in the mommy pocket when I'm packing for just me and my toddler while we're out and about is um, my small set piece that has my wallet stuff in it, so like a Be Charged and a coin purse. And then I will also um, put my phone down in there as well. Of course I'm using that for filming right now, so I'm not putting it in there. But that's basically all I put in this section. Um, you can maybe fit some Kleenex or some like lip gloss or something in these little mesh pockets back here, but that's about all I'm able to fit. Everything else in here is packed up for my toddler. He is a two-year-old, so I have things in here that are kind of more geared toward that age type of child. Um, there is only one bottle pocket on this bag, which, <laughs> I don't know, I've seen mixed reviews about. Some people like the one bottle pocket, some people hate it. I kind of like it, but I like the asymmetry of it. Uh, it's definitely not as useful as having two bottle pockets, but I think it looks kind of cool. So in there I have a Replay No Slip Sippy Cup. In this top zip pocket, um, everyone says this is a tech pocket, but I never use it for that. I have just put one little toy in here for my son. This is his little fake phone, and he loves this thing. Um, and it's really easy to grab for right there. So if your little one has a favorite toy that they're always asking for, this is a great little slot for that, as long as it's not too big. Those are the only two external compartments to this bag, which is another thing that is not my favorite. But again, I believe Jujubee was going for simplicity with this and making it just a really simple, easy bag. One thing that I do like about this bag is the way that it opens. So as you can see, it opens about halfway down. It doesn't go all the way down the side like a Be Right Back does, so that means that the bag is not going to flop open, which is pretty nice. And I generally find that this packs up really well, even though it doesn't open all the way up. Now, I will also say that a lot of people feel like they can't pack the Be Packed because it doesn't fit a lot of things, and I would generally agree with you, but this way that I have this packed actually works really well and lets you fit a ton of stuff. The first thing that I have in here is a Be Organized. This is in the Super Toki print, and what I have in here is my Lilla Baby ring sling. I do still like to wear my toddler whenever I can, and it's just nice to have a ring sling in my bag so that if he's being grumpy and doesn't want to walk, I can just throw him on. Here is a kind of a glimpse at how the rest of the bag is packed up. Over here on the side, I do have a replay snack stack, uh, snack tower. And then there are just three pouches down here in the main part of the bag. I have packed these up vertically and then put the straps sticking up like this so that I can just grab them really quickly out of the bag, which is really helpful. I think if you pack this horizontally, where you have all the bags kind of down, uh, like on their bottoms instead of on their side this way, it's a lot harder to get stuff out of the bag. The first thing that I have is a medium set piece. Woo! a medium set piece that's packed with eating needs for my toddler. This is packed up like it always is in all my videos with just a Be Neat, some utensils, and a slip resistant placemat. Next I have a large set piece and I have attached a short strap here to help me to be able to pull this out of the bag. And this has just got a little change of clothes for my toddler. What's taking up the most room in this bag is this uh, Be Quick in the Black Magic print. And this is of course packed with diapering needs. So I've just got um, a cloth diaper, a disposable diaper, a Jujube Be Dry, and a wipe pouch packed with wipes down in there. And the last thing that I have down in this back kind of slip pocket 
is a book that my son likes to read. So this is another thing that I can hand to him while we're out. If he's being fussy and needs entertainment, he can sit down and flip through his book. There is one last compartment in this bag and it's this zip pocket right here. You'll probably not see me use this in any of the ways I'm gonna show you today because to be honest, I just don't find it to be a useful zipper and I also find that it just puffs up the front of the bag more than I like. So I don't use that, but if you have suggestions for how to use it in a cool way, let me know. The next way that I've packed this up is for an infant. Now, I'm not going to repack this mommy pocket here because for an infant, I would just be packing this exactly the same way as I would with a toddler with my uh, small set piece and my phone in the mommy pocket. This top zip pocket up here is actually a really great place if you have a newborn for putting a wub and nub I think you would definitely want to have some pacifier wipes in there as well so you can make sure that you clean this off. But I can't find mine right now, so they're not in there. But this is just really like the perfect size for a wub and nub Over here I have just a water bottle for myself because if I did not have my toddler with me, I wouldn't need a sippy cup so I could actually bring my own drink. <laughs> Now, I was actually really surprised what all I was able to fit in here. Um, this bag is just a little bit top heavy, so excuse me if I keep having to catch it before it falls. In fact, you know what? Here's how it looks from the top. Now we're gonna lay it down and I'll show you what all is in here. All right, so sitting right on the top, and you'll see how I've done this in a minute. I have a fuel cell down in the bottom and two medium set pieces sitting right on top of that. So, oh, you're gonna sit up now? Okay. So uh, the first thing that I have is a medium set piece packed with just some kind of like medical needs for an infant. I have some Honest Company soothing bottom wash, gripe water, and the syringe, a thermometer, clippers, and one of those little nose sucky things. Sitting behind that medium set piece, I had another medium set piece, and this one just has a change of clothes in it for my daughter. Off to the side here, I have a swaddle blanket. This one is from BB Olay, and it's in the Popsicles print. I decided to put all of the diapering needs back here behind this little pocket. So I actually have a Y pouch back here, as well as seven size one infant diapers. So those fit really nicely back there. You can actually fit quite a few diapers, and uh, it just makes a really nice little place for grabbing those out really quickly without having them in a pouch if you're the kind of person who doesn't like pouches. Now, the last thing that I have in here is a fuel cell, and I was really surprised to see that a fuel cell would fit inside of this bag. I am breastfeeding, but sometimes I feel bad that all of my videos are geared toward breastfeeding moms, so I decided to pack this one for moms who are bottle feeding. Um, so in here I have a little formula dispenser. This one is by Munchkin brand and it has three little dividers in it so that you can actually measure out three bottles worth of formula in there. I have a swell bottle that has clean water in it. And then I have two different bottles, um, a large one and a small one. Now, for you breastfeeding moms, maybe the way that you might pack this up is with your nursing cover and maybe your pump in there and some ice or something to keep pumped milk cold or whatever you want to do. Um, but I just wanted to show that you can definitely pack up the Be Packed with a fuel cell and you can use it for formula feeding or breastfeeding. All right, this way was by far the most challenging, but I decided to try to pack this up um, as though I was going out with both my toddler and my newborn. And I'll be honest, it didn't turn out that bad. It's very, very, very overpacked, but you could definitely make this work even if you were going out with two under two, which actually surprises the heck out of me. So uh, over here on the side, I do have my son's sippy cup. I ran out of room on the inside of the bag, and so I was forced to learn whether or not a medium set piece will fit in this front mommy pocket, and it totally does, which surprised me. So in here I have that medium set piece that has my son's restaurant needs in it. Packed this way, I would definitely have to keep my phone and my wallet in my pocket somewhere, or maybe ask my husband to carry it, because definitely nothing else will fit in there when you put the medium set piece in. Now this also surprised me. Watch this, this is gonna be like a magic trick. I fit my entire itsy ritzy nursing scarf in this tech pocket back here. <laughs> so that's actually a really convenient spot to put a nursing scarf if you use one. Um, you can just whip this out when it's time to nurse and cover up if you want to, and then stuff it right back in there when you're done. On to the inside of the bag. Sitting right on top is of course that swaddle blanket that I showed you in the last clip. Off to the side over here, again, I have my son's replay snack stack. I have that medium set piece packed with my daughter's 
change of clothes and I also have a large set piece here packed with my son's change of clothes and I was not expecting to be able to get a change of clothes for both babies in there so I was really happy about that. I once again have that book for my toddler back here in the back slip pocket. And then for diapering needs, if you look down here in the bag, I'm actually using a large Be Organized piece and it fits perfectly down in the bottom of the bag if you put it in this way. It obviously will not go this way, but putting it down on its side, it goes perfectly in there and it creates a nice little shelf for packing other things inside of this bag. So in here, I just have the things that you would typically expect to see in a diapering kit. I have wipes, um, a jujube wet bag, and of course diapers for both of my little ones. All right, so this one is packed as a toddler bag to take as a carry-on if you're going on an airplane. Um, I thought that this might be helpful just because packing for a toddler on an airplane can be a little bit challenging. You wanna make sure that you have plenty of stuff to keep your kid entertained, but you don't wanna have stuff that can roll away and get lost. You don't wanna have things that make too much noise. So it can be a little complicated. So this is the kind of bag that I would put together for my toddler going on an airplane. And to be honest with you, now that it's all packed up, I think this is the perfect bag for that kind of thing. So over here in the bottle pocket, I just have a replay um, soft spout sippy cup this time, just because I think that this might be better for airplane travel. As usual, I don't have much in the mommy pocket. Um, one thing that I do have in here is a little fidget spinner, just because sometimes when my son is like really having a meltdown, um, a fidget spinner is just captivating enough to get him to watch it and get really still and quiet. And on an airplane, that's kind of a nice thing to have going on. The other thing that I have down in here is a pack of Kleenex, because I think we all know that if you have a runny nose from a toddler on an airplane, that can get real gross real fast. I've actually left this spot open here. I haven't put anything in there because I feel like when you have a bag sitting at your feet, especially one that stands up nice and tall like this one, um, it's good to have a little slot to just toss something that your toddler has handed to you. You can just put it right in there and it's out of your hands. On to the main part of the bag. Sitting right on top, I do have that same replay snack stack just because I do think it's a great idea to have snacks for your toddler on the plane. Sitting off to the side over here, I have a large jujube set piece. And this is packed with a really fun activity that I found on Amazon. Now, I will give the caveat, like know your toddler before you take this game onto an airplane because there's lots of little pieces in here and if you have the kind of child who likes to throw things or drop things, this might not be great, but this was on Amazon and what it is is a set of these little cups that are multicolored. And then you also get all of these different little bears that are different colors. And what we like to do is lay the cups out and then my son can actually sort the bears into their proper color cup. Um, and that's been a really fun educational game for him. And this is something that you can lay out on the little tray table and let your toddler play with this while you're up in the air. Next to that, I have a fuel cell in here again, just because I feel like a toddler should be able to pull out their own little bag um, to have with them. And this is just packed with little things that I feel are entertaining for my son. Again, probably one of the most important things about packing on an airplane is to have toys that aren't gonna get away from you, like aren't gonna roll away really far, and that don't make a lot of noise because I have had jerks on airplanes complain that my son's toy was too loud. And I'm like, all right, I can turn this toy off for you, but you're not gonna like what comes next. Um, so in here I just have like a little wooden car that my son likes to play with. This little squeaky, this is actually a bathtub toy, but he likes it when he's not in the tub. I have this little drill that makes a little bit of noise, just enough to kind of keep him entertained, but it's not super loud. And then I have this little, this is like a VTech toy, I think. But the reason why I put this one in here is because this one does make a lot of noise, but you can turn it on and off, which is fantastic. And uh, toys that have the actual speakers on the back are really great for plane travel because you can put a piece of duct tape over this and it will make it a whole lot quieter. Then down in the bottom, I just have two little books. I also have a coloring book in here that my son really loves. And I did have some crayons, but it looks like my son pilfered those out of here when I wasn't looking. So yeah, you would need crayons with the coloring book. I don't have them now. Um, and the only other thing that I have in here is actually down back in this little slip pocket in the back. Um, I just thought it might be a good idea to pack your own little plate so that when you do pull the snacks out, instead of putting them on that tray table that probably is covered in germs, you can put your kids' uh, food in a little tray like this. 
and I also put in here some in a baby silverware just in case and that's really everything you know if this is something that you plan on putting on your toddler's back you don't want it to be too heavy you want to pack it with just enough stuff to keep them entertained but still to stay nice and light so let's go ahead and move on to the last way the last way that I'm going to show you to use this today is as a productivity bag for mom. So whether you're taking this to work or to a coffee shop to get stuff done, this is how I would pack this up for myself for those kind of busy work days. Now I'll go ahead and say that there's nothing particularly brilliant about the way this is packed up. This is more or less just to show you how much stuff you can fit in here for a productive day because this is a small bag, but like most Jujube stuff, it actually fits a lot. So over here in the bottle pocket, of course, I've just packed a swell bottle for myself. In the mommy pocket, I have a small set piece packed as a wallet. Down in one of the mesh slip pockets, I have my earbuds for taking phone calls if I need them. And then in the other mesh slip pocket, I just have my little tiny charger and the charge cable that goes with it. I don't tend to use this top pocket while I'm packing this for a uh, work bag, but this is actually a really great place to maybe put a B charge that has a few of your business cards in here because you can just reach in here really fast and grab some cards out in case you have an opportunity for networking while you're out. Now this is what I think is so impressive about the B pack is I can actually fit so much stuff in here. In fact, I ran out of ideas of things to put in here <laughs> before I had it all filled up. So the first thing that I have is just a book because sometimes when I'm out working I just like to take a mental break and stop and read for a little bit. Um, if you are of the faith I think you would really enjoy this book. This is called Authentic Faith by Gary Thomas. Next I have a little notebook that I just use for organizing thoughts. I have a selfie stick in here because um, part of my job is social media so sometimes if I catch an opportunity to take some Instagram photos or do some vlogging or something that's great to have. That's actually from the Target dollar spot and it was super cheap and it works great. Next in here I have my Foxy Fix B6 planner. I also have a little uh, binder that I have stickers and lots of organizational stuff in here for using my planner. And down in the back slip pocket where I feel like it's being kept a little bit safer than the other things, I have my uh, laptop charger as well as my MacBook Air which does fit perfectly in that back slip pocket. All right, everyone, so that is five ways to pack the Jujube Be Packed. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas for how to pack this up. If you have any questions or suggestions of your own, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. As always, I'd love for you to give a thumbs up if you liked this video so that I know to make more content like this. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing by clicking this little button right here, and that way I know I'll get to see you again. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.